Hello everyone, it's Jabari here, and today's video is going to mark episode 2 of my My Bad series, but I decided to actually rename it to A Step Back and Two Steps Forward. I know it's a bit cliche and unoriginal to be honest, but it's more fitting for what I do considering not everything that I cover in this series is necessarily going to be a mistake I made. In many of the cases, it's simply just to provide clarity on something that may have been misunderstood by a large portion of the commenters, and just in general just to provide more clarity on things or extra details. Today we're going to be covering how the IFA literary corpus actually corresponds to binary code, because there seems to have been some confusion in the last video and I only briefly explained it, just for the sake of time. But before we get into that, I do want to cover one small mistake I did notice shortly after uploading. I said that the IFA literary corpus corresponds to a 16-bit system, and I said 16 to the power of 16 equals 256. Honest mistake there, I meant to say 16 to the power of 2 is 256. So that's, that is indeed my bad. But anyway, without further ado, we're going to explain in great detail exactly how binary code works, and how the divining chains and the divination boards of the IFA literary corpus correspond to binary code. Warning, there is quite a bit of math involved, but I promise you, despite the complexity of it, it's quite easy to understand if you just drop everything and pay close attention. So firstly, you can start off by drawing this simple chart by hand. It consists of numbers that go up in succession from left to right in increments of the power of 2. 1 times 2 equals 2, 2 times 2 equals 4, 4 times 2 equals 8, etc. Then of course you will need a number to translate into binary code. For this particular example, we will use 84. So once you have a number selected, you will compare it to each of the numbers on the chart starting from left to right. If the number on the chart is larger than our 84, then we don't have to do any math. As you can see, 128 is in fact larger than 84, so we simply add a 0 to the binary code section of the chart, underneath the 128. This section is where we'll get our ultimate result. Then you move right to the next number, and repeat the process. This time however, you can see that 64 is smaller than our number 84, so instead of putting a 0 underneath, we'll put a 1 this time. In addition to this, we need to subtract 64 from 84, which will leave us with 20. Then repeat the process, but this time with your remaining 20 instead of the original 84. Move on to the next number on the chart, and as we did in the previous step, since 32 is larger than 20, we add a 0 to the binary code section. Move on to the next number, which is smaller than 20, and so on. Add a 1 and subtract the number on the chart from our remaining 20. This will leave us with 4. Moving on to the next number, which is 8, which is larger than 4, and again, no math, put a 0 under the 8. Then we will have the number 4, which is equal to our remainder of 4. Equal numbers also get a 1 in the binary slot. That leaves us with 0. So all remaining spots thereafter will be filled with zeros. At this point, you successfully translated 84 into an 8-digit binary code. If you start off with the 8-digit binary code and you want to translate it into its original decimal number, it's a much easier process. You use the same chart as before, find which numbers have 1s under them, and simply get the sum of those corresponding numbers. The sum of those numbers will be equal to the original decimal number. So using the same as our previous example 84, you will see that the corresponding ones are under 64, 16, and 4. With that said, 64 plus 16 plus 4 equals 84. The IFA literary corpus accomplishes the same task using two different methods. A divining chain, which has 8 colon nuts, concave on one side and convex on the other in which case the concave side corresponds to 0 and the convex side corresponds to 1, is effectively twirled around and thrown to the ground, revealing a binary code. This binary code corresponds to a specific poem or verse called an Odoo. 
and also the dividing board method. In the dividing board method, they attempt to grab 8 whole nuts by hand, and if one nut remains, then they draw one line on the dividing board, which corresponds to the number 0. If 2 nuts remain, then they draw 2 lines, which corresponds to the number 1. If no nuts remain, then they just repeat the process until they get one of the two aforementioned outcomes. After they get eight digits, those tallies correspond perfectly with all of the ones and zeros in a binary code. Once a code is produced, it corresponds to one of thousands of poems and verses found within the complex system of Ifa Literary Corpus, and these verses are used for divination. The reason why there are thousands of these codes is because each of the ones in the original binary code can actually be further divided into eight parts, or bits, which in the computer world can be used to store data in more or less the same way, just with obviously more advanced technology than verbal poems and verses. The entire system is based on the number eight, with eight bits corresponding to one byte. That's why when you get an internet package at home that advertises 100 megabits, you're actually getting 12.5 megabytes per second. But anyway, I digress. I hope this clarified things for those of you who were confused about the relation between the IFA literary corpus and binary code. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel a lot. For sources, check out my website, linked below. If you'd like to support future projects, you can do so there as well, or by clicking the join button below, or by becoming a patron. I hope you all enjoyed the video, thanks for watching as usual, and always remember, we don't come from nothing.